Forever could never be long enough for me I feel like I've had long enough with you Forget the world now, we won't let them see But there's one thing left to do Now that the weight has lifted Love has surely shifted my way Marry me Today and every day Marry me If I ever get the nerve to say hello in this cafe Say you will Together could never be close enough for me To feel like I am close enough to you You wear white and I wear out the words I love you And you're beautiful Now that the wait is over And love has finally showed her my Please rise.
We're assembled here in the presence of God to celebrate the marriage of Jennifer and Kevin. They ask for your blessing, encouragement, and lifelong support for their decision to become husband and wife. They are delighted that you're all here today. Thank you for your presence participation on this special day. Jenny's father could not be here today, and we know that all our thoughts and prayers were with him. Who gives their blessing for this marriage? We do. Go get her, Kevin. You may be seated. Enough your flowers. Turn and face each other and join hands. I have a wedding day question for all present. Doesn't Jennifer and Kevin make an awesome and good looking couple? What do you think? Jennifer and Kevin, relationship you nurture together stands for a love that will blossom and grow with each passing day. Before you knew love, you were friends. And it's from the seed of friendship that has now become your destiny. Marriage is the clasping of hands, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives as one. Marriage is caring about the welfare and happiness marriage partner as it is your very own. It's not to absorption into each other, but rather looking outward together in the same direction. Marriage makes burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes joys more intense because you share them. It makes you stronger, involved in life in ways you dare not risk alone. To make your life succeed will take love. This is the core of your marriage and why you're both here today. It will take trust to know in your heart you truly want the very best for one another. It will take dedication to stay open and honest with one another and to learn and to grow together. It will take faith to go forward together without knowing exactly what your future may bring. And lastly, it will take commitment to hold true to the journey we'll promise today to share together. An intimate and secure relationship is not based solely on promises, but also on trust, respect, faithfulness, and the ability to forgive. A lasting marriage is based on all of these, bound together by love. Marriage is love walking hand in hand together. It's laughing with each other about the silly little things and learning to discuss the big things with care and tenderness. In marriage, love is trusting each other even when you're apart. It's getting over disappointments and hurts knowing these are present in all relationships. It's the realization that there's no one else in the entire world you'd rather be with than the one you're married to. It's thinking of doing new things together. It's growing old together. Marriage being love for the rest of your lives. Jennifer and Kevin, as they embrace one another in love, so they embrace the families that have been brought together on this happy occasion. As a sign of love for their families, Jennifer and Kevin like to offer these symbols of love, these lays, to some of their family members.
These lays are promised to you know how far apart you are. You'll never be forgotten and always be in their hearts and in their prayers. Jennifer and Kevin, may this be the love that you bring into this relationship. And may its essence touch all those with whom you have contact. Just as the waters touch and nourish many shores of the earth, may your love be moving sea between the shores of your two souls. As you come to this day to affirm your love and commitment, may you always remember to value each other as special as unique individuals. And that you respect each other's thoughts, ideas, and feelings. May you be able to forgive and to forget when wrong. As from this day forward, you shall each other's home, comfort, and sanctuary. Jennifer and Kevin, do you take each other to be wife and husband? Do you promise to love each other, respect and care for each other, under all conditions and circumstances of life, be faithful to each other for the rest of your lives together? Thank you. And the, <laughs> the vows we're about to exchange serves a verbal representation of the love that you're promising today. For it's not the words that you speak today that unite you together as one, but rather the inner sense of love and commitment each of you feels within your very soul. No other human ties are as tender, no vows more sacred than those that you both now assume. Kevin, I want you to look deep into Jennifer's eyes. Those magical, mysterious eyes. <laughs> but they were much, much more. There were magnetic eyes that drew together in the beginning and have brought you both here today. As you repeat after me, just speak to you words from your heart. I, Kevin, take you, Jennifer. I, Kevin, take you, Jennifer. To be my wife. To be my wife. I will share the good times. I will share the good times. And the hard times. And the hard times. By your side. By your side. I give you my hand and my heart. I give you my hand and my heart. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. And I promise my faith and love to you. And I promise my faith and love to you. Till the end of time. Till the end of time. Likewise. I, Jennifer, take you, Kevin. I, Jennifer, take you, Kevin. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will share the good times. I will share the good times. And the hard times. And the hard times. By your side. By your side. I give you my hand and my heart. I give you my hand and my heart. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. And I promise my faith and love to you. And I promise my faith and love to you. To the end of time. To the end of time. May I please have the rings? The wedding ring is a symbol of broken unity. It completes completeness and eternity. May the imperishable substance of these rings reflect the love shining with increasing radiance throughout your lives together. May God bless these rings that you've given to exchange each other as on your love, your trust, and devotion. Kevin, please place this ring on Jennifer's ring finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my devotion and love. As a sign of my devotion and love. And with my heart. And with my heart. I promise to you. I promise to you. All that I am. All that I am. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. Enjoy my life to yours. And enjoy my life to yours. Look at that huge smile on Jennifer's face. <laughs> when she saw the bling. I mean the ring. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my devotion and love. As a sign of my devotion and love. And with my heart. And with my heart. I promise to you. I promise to you. All that I am. All that I am. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. And join my life to yours. And join my life to yours. May the sacredness of this moment, the vows and rings you've exchanged, ever may as a priceless memory in the heart of each of you. And may you both have perfect love and peace together. At this time, if you come inside the table and wait until I ask you to pour. Kevin and Jennifer, may your love be as constant as never any waves flowing innocently from the depths of the sea. Just as there will never be a morning without the oceans flow, There'll never be a day without your love for one another. You have just sealed your relationship by the giving and receiving of rings. You've committed here today to share the rest of your lives together. This beautiful union is symbolized by the pouring of these two shells of sand. The first shell represents you, Kevin, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you ever will be. And the other shell represents you, Jennifer, and all that you were, all that you are, and all that you ever will be. Each holds in you beauty, strength, and character. They can stand their own behold without need of anything else. However, when these two are blended together, they create an entirely new and more intricate entity. Each grain of sand brings the mixture of lasting beauty that forever enhances the new combination. Please pour the sand into this common container to signify the union of your two lives as one.
<laughs> Bluebirds fly And the dream that you did to Oh why, oh why can't I I, I well I see trees of green and red roses This container of sand now represents your new life together. Although you're two separate people, your lives are now entwined with one another. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated from individual containers, so too your marriage will be molding of two individual personalities, bonded together from one heart, life and one heart, but the two shall become one. Did you have fun playing in the sand on your wedding day? <laughs> it looked like you were having a good time up there. Kevin and Jennifer, if there's anything you remember this marriage ceremony, may be the love that brought you both here today. For it is only love that can make it a glorious union. And only by love that your marriage shall endure. Today, your separate lives, individual memories, desires, and hopes have merged into one. You are now taking into your care and keeping the one person in the entire world you love above all others. You're adding to your life not only the affection of each other, but also companionship and blessing of a deep trust as well. You agree to share strength, responsibilities, and to share love. May you both be a blessing and a comfort to each other, sharers of each other's dreams, consolers of each other's sorrows, helpers to each other in all of life's challenges. May you encourage each other whatever you set out to achieve. May you trust each other, trust God, and be unafraid. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements that a marriage should bring. May God grant you patience, tolerance, and understanding. Kevin and Jennifer, since you exchanged vows and promised each other in love, commitment, and loyalty, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kevin, you may now kiss the bride. You're married. Turn that way, get your bouquet. Family and friends, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Kevin and Jennifer. Oh! <laughs> Give a huge hand all the way down the aisle. Say, would you follow me wherever I do go? Always, forever, if it's me, you, and this world. What if it means that you may never come back home? Boy, you're the only home that I have ever known. I don't have much, but babe, I promise you will be fine. I don't need much, I'm just honey, you're my dime. My love for you will last for a billion lifetimes. My love for you, the brightest starlight in the Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, thank you for coming. Uh, the immediate family will be coming back and remaining here for photos.
If you can go right down the aisle and stay straight ahead towards those white tables for refreshments and, and hors d'oeuvres. Thank you for coming and have a great day and God bless. To Chicago, grab a pint, then to DC. Mr. President, would you like some company? Get weird in Austin or in Portland in the green. Ladies, at, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, the bride and the groom would like to invite all of you to come up and share this moment with them. So come on, come all to the dance floor and share in their first dance. Started, I just want to thank the people here who helped make this happen. So, Mr. and Mrs. O, and Mrs. Mike, and Mr. Mike, who unfortunately couldn't be here today, but I know he's thinking of us and sending Kevin and Jenny all his love. 
And there's a few more people, Amy, Bonnie, and Noob. Thank you so much for helping Jenny look so beautiful today and taking such good care of her. And also Matt and Steve, thank you. They pretty much did all the work for me since I was out of state, so they made me look good. And I'm taking all the credit. So thank you. You guys are all wonderful friends, and we were lucky to know you. Um, and also thank you to everyone here for helping make this special day happen. Um, and Kevin and Jenny, I'm sorry I wasn't around for more of the wedding planning process, but I am so happy and grateful that I could be standing in front of you guys here today. Um, all right, so now um, this is going to be a love story about two people who met totally by chance, and uh, they stuck together against the odds, and now they're standing here together in front of you guys today. This is a love story about me and Kevin. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, uh, Kevin and I, we've been best friends for about 15 years. Um, we met, I think it was the first day of our freshman year in high school, and ever since then we've just been the best of friends. Um, and I've learned so much from Kevin over the last 15 years. Um, he's taught me how to play poker, he taught me how to play Counter-Strike, <laughs> he introduced me to Tupac, and, um, I mean he's still trying to teach me how to play basketball, but to be honest, I'm not sure if that one's going to work out. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. But, um, and uh, like for the longest time, um, when, whenever Kevin and I would get together, like bad things would happen. Something about us being together, we just make the most terrible decisions. Uh, whether it was, you know, toilet papering someone's house or buying those huge Jinko jeans. Or like, you know, I think one summer we ate nothing but Little Caesars pizza for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the entire summer. Um, but it does just stand to say it makes sense that Kevin met Jenny and he started dating her when I wasn't around. So I, I basically had nothing to do with the best decision that Kevin ever made. And I think I have kind of a unique perspective on Kevin and Jenny's relationship because I actually wasn't around for most of it. I was out of state, so I would just come back for you know, summer vacation or for holidays. And like the first thing I would do would always go to my house, I'd drop my bags off, and I'd just drive to wherever Kevin was to hang out. And, you know, once they started dating, I'd just end up spending summers and holidays with Kevin and Jenny because they were always together. I think one summer I was pretty much their adopted child. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, the first time I knew that Jenny was really special was uh, actually one of those times that Kevin was trying to teach me how to play basketball. Um, I ended up with a concussion. Uh, <laughs> I think I was doing something super athletic, like tying my shoelaces or something. Um, but Jenny ended up staying up with me the entire night just to make sure that I was awake, I didn't fall asleep, and that I'd be okay. And that just shows you what kind of person Jenny is. She didn't even know me that well, and she already had my back, you know? But also, that shows you what kind of person Kevin is. Because he was my best friend, and I think that whole time he was just asleep on the couch. <laughs> dude, Kevin, he can sleep through the apocalypse. You are one sleepy dude, man. But, like, about a month ago, actually, while the wedding pre preparation was going on, I spoke with Kevin and Jenny, and I asked them, you know, what, what is the thing you appreciate the most about each other? And Jenny, without any hesitation at all, she said, Kevin's patience. And Kevin, he thought about it a little longer. I think it's because he has more good qualities to choose from for Jenny. But he ended up saying that it was her understanding. And I think that says a lot about Kevin and Jenny. They've been through so much, and they really bring out the best in each other. Um, and, you know, it's been 15 years, but I still have so much to learn from Kevin, and now from Jenny as well. Like, uh, seeing Kevin and Jenny together has shown me how strong, you know, a good relationship can be. And seeing how happy Jenny makes Kevin has shown me how amazing finding the right person can be. You know, Kevin, it's always been me and you, brother. But now it's you and Jenny, and I'm so happy and excited to see how you guys grow together. Hi everyone, I'm Hello. Bonnie. Um, first of all, I met Jenny 10 years ago um, in the spring of 2004. It all started when we became sisters when we pledged a fraternity. And yes, it's a co-ed fraternity. Um, and I'd always been a tomboy my whole life, so honestly, the idea of having girlfriends didn't really appeal to me. <laughs> <laughs> but as part of a fraternity, you're forced to be together every day. You have to memorize pointless facts about each other. And of course, that's when I found out she was more boyish than I was. <laughs> um, so she was, she's a gamer. I don't understand. That's not my thing. So video games, WoW, Star Wars, StarCraft, Star Trek. I don't, I don't know. That's not, I, I don't know. <laughs> She also worked at BOL, uh, which 
to my knowledge, you know, she can fix computers and cameras and all these technology things. I take sports very seriously, which is why I have this. <laughs> and no Asian girl is going to show me up. Okay? So then we became friends, and after that, it all went downhill. <laughs> so we joined a dance team together. We per performed an awful routine in San Diego. Then we then came some blurry trips to Mexico, trips to Tahoe, uh, midnight drives to Yosemite, spontaneous trips to Vegas, and camping trips to Big Sur, and white water rafting. I really don't know how we made it through all of that. Um, so along, came, along all this came Kevin. Kevin, who naturally fell right into place with our group. Kevin, who's taught me more Korean drinking games than I really need to know. And he's my favorite person to get in trouble with because I never get yelled at. But I've been fortunate enough to, over the years to see Jenny and Kevin's relationship grow. And regardless of moments of happiness, moments of anger and sadness, at the end of the day, I see how you take care of each other, support each other, and love each other. I distinctly remember one night in January 2010, it was after one of our snowboarding trips, we went to K-Town, obviously, and we went karaoke. And of all songs to sing, they chose a duet by Jason Mraz and Colby Kaye, and it's called Lucky. And the song sings of being lucky that I'm in love with my best friend, Lucky to have been where I've been. Lucky we're in love in every way. And lucky to be coming home someday. And that night, when you guys sang that to each other in front of all of us, um, I just knew that you would marry your best friend, Kevin. And so they say the stars at night shine big and bright, but tonight none shines brighter than my beautiful big sister. Tonight we celebrate new family, new friends, and your new love for each other. That's our maid of honor and best man. Give it up one more time. We are going to start our food service in a bit, so please stay tuned. Also composed by him is about the initial encounter between a Kauai chief and the mystical high chiefess of Paliuli, Lai Kauai. The Mele Kapolina captures their first moment together as well as their love and destiny. And Je Jenny dedicates this hula to you all and Kevin for your love and support. Jenny, take it away.
Isn't she talented? Make some noise.